A Texas judge recently ordered an injunction against the Texas Health and Human Services Commission preventing them from changing Medicaid contracts. It's something that would impact thousands of South Texans. Our Josh Maxwell spoke with those who see the benefits of the plan firsthand and is here now live with that report. Josh. Mike, those I spoke with say that having this time really allows for the plan to continue doing what it does best serving low income families here in South Texas. Now one former pharmacy technician says having programs like these can drastically change a child's quality of life. This injunction allows us to continue to operate. Fiscal Health Plan President and CEO Craig Smith highlighting a recent ruling that will give low income South Texans a small sigh of relief when it comes to their Medicaid coverage. It's not only do we continue operating, but that our members uh, get to continue to enjoy the services of one of the top health plans in the state. Since March, the nonprofit has been appealing to the Texas Health and Human Services Commission, asking them to continue to provide coverage. Worst case scenario. And is in September of 2020. Uh, Driscoll would have ceased operations as a health plan serving those individuals. Especially during flu season where it hits heavy the most. Joe Michael Salinas is a former pharmacy technician who can personally attest to how the program and those similar to it can help the less fortunate. Medicaid something that's in place for these kiddos to get medication that they couldn't typically afford. Selena saying that programs like Driscoll Health Plan helped him growing up. Kid, one of the biggest things that I needed growing up was allergy testing and that's something super expensive like if you don't have insurance. Especially when both parents couldn't be in the picture at the same time. You were like myself, you know, I only had my mom growing up because my father passed away and it was something that was just unaffordable for her at the time and Medicaid really helped with that. Smith says that without the injunction, roughly 175,000 South Texans would have, would have seen disruption. He also says that the state has 20 days to appeal the ruling, meaning many are on standby to see if, if an appeal will come through on or before the 25th of this month.